Hi guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, marking and checking which end of a film capacitor is the inner and outer foil. Now, obviously a film cap will work either way around, but the idea is that the outer foil should be at the lowest impedance because uh, basically that acts as a shield. So you imagine kind of a valve amp all the stages going through. There's generally a cap to obviously get rid of all, all the kind of DC as the signal goes through. So you've got a little bit of noise at the very first one, it gets amplified blah, 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 and then it comes out a bit noisy at the end. So the idea is that at the outer foil end, that bit acts as a shield, um, so reduces the noise coming out um, and that end needs to be at the low impedance. So generally that is the output. So imagine you've got, you know, the anode, yeah, and you've got a cap. That, the anode, the, the lead clips, the anode is the inner foil, but the outer foil is the output end. I know it's a bit confusing, but um, anyway, let me illustrate with this cap. So this is a tin foil from Audio Now the way to check it is a couple of ways. And we're gonna use the scope way first. So you've got your scope, you can see the track, it's obviously making loads of noise because it's not connected to anything. You just, either way around, pin there, connected to the ground, and that connects to the, there. So you can see there's a trace here that's very, very low voltage, um, and it's showing noise effectively. I don't know which one's the inner foil, which one's the outer foil. I've just wired it up. Um, so, so I leave it like that. If I touch that, you can see how my hand is creating noise and it increases. Oops, only slightly. See? going up and down. So now I'm going to create more noise. So the way to do that, IC lead, it is plugged in and then you basically bring it close and it introduces more noise. See? Like that. So try and get a reading of what that is so that that's 1.2 divisions there. Cool. Yeah, about 1.2. So then I'm going to turn it around. Yep, you can see that that's quite a lot bigger. Not a lot bigger, but that's reading ooh, quite, it's probably about two, just over two divisions. Yep. 2.2. So I know that this end is the actual outer foil. Yeah, because this is the best way it works. Yeah, see that's reduced. Because you want a quiet, the quietest one is the way around it should be. So this end's the outer foil. There you go. So your input, signal input would go into there and that would be your output, which would be kind of the nearest to ground, ground effectively. Got it? So let's try it again with this one. This is a bigger cap. So the issue is the larger the capacitance, the more difficult it is to see <coughs> which way around it is. So just any old way. Like that, see it's quite quiet that one. So I've turned it to times times one. Right, so big biggest peak is on this one is about two point two point four. Swap it round, see what how that measures. Right. That's a lot bigger. OK, 
Cool, that's about three. 3.5. Cool, so I know, because this is the quieter way, the earth potential one is at the outer foil. So that's your outer foil. And that's your inner foil. Cool. So we're going to go through now the doing it with an amplifier because not everybody has a scope. Part two of this video, though it's probably just going to stream straight into it, isn't it? Anyway, we're now going to be using an amp to determine which is the inner and outer foil of the cap. So for this experiment, we're using any kit, um, the 8500 preamp, and then this old thing, which is a and K kit, uh, EL34 push pull. I mean, that must, this must be 12 years old. And then um, Celestian Ditton 33s. So we're just using this speaker so you can hear it for, for example, for the sake of argument. So here we have basically an RCA, this lead. The black is connected to the earth. The red is connected to the sing signal. So that goes in. You can see, you can hear that. That's telling you that it's, I'm hitting it in this speaker. You hold it there like this. Ooh, volume's right up. Let's get this. Hold this as well. In fact, I hold it like that. Can't really hear anything, can you? So I'm pretty positive that this that's the connects up correctly. That is the outer foil. Okay. I'm gonna swap it around. You might want to turn the volume down while you're doing this. You don't want to mash up your speakers. Okay, holding the wire there, it's plugged in. Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh. Yep, so that confirms my suspicions. That ends the outer foil, that ends the inner foil. That end of the outer foil goes to the output, so the lowest impedance on the circuit. That's brilliant. So that was using a 0 0.22. I'm gonna turn the volume down. Just gonna do it again using a lower capacitance cap. This is a 0 0.01. Mundorf Supreme Silver Gold Oil. I'll turn the volume down, that's why it's not going crazy. Turn the volume up, holding my lead. Hear that? Remember it, how loud is it? It's about, I'm swapping around. definitely feels, sounds louder. It's kind of close, I might have to just try it the other way. Okay, register that in your heads. Oh, that's definitely quieter. So, that means this end, black end, earth end, is the outer foil. So, that end goes to the output. Sorted. Which one's easier? I don't know, I think the scope's easier. Because you don't have to set all this up, you just have a scope with the probes. But then, not a lot of people have scopes. But you can buy software uh, for computer, computer, did I say it wrong? Um, that turns your computer into a Mac. No, it turns it into an oscilloscope. So, get it, I, I'm gonna have a look at those, see how much they cost. Anyway, jobs are good then. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.